Hey, hey all and welcome to this photo loop tutorial. In this photo loop tutorial, I'm gonna take you through the new AI creation tools that they've just added as an update. Hey. So now when we open the home screen on our mobile devices, we have these nice AI creation tools and it just says describe or draw anything then watch our AI dream up a masterpiece. So it randomly selects something for you. You can use it in its simplest form, and I've done a few times, but you can also use it for creations that are way out there, real extravagant. I suppose a good demo of those is where it says start with an example down the bottom. So you can see the description here, astronaut riding a motorcycle on the moon. And you get an astronaut riding a motorcycle on the moon. And there's some more if you scroll along. So you can just start with one of these examples. But let me show you it in action first. If we go to try, you can do things in their simplest form. Like if we type apples, click generate, we will get apples. If you're not quite happy with the apples that it gives you, click generate again. There you go, you get another image of, of apples, and you can just keep clicking generate until you find the image that suits you. Let me show you how I've used this in an example image. So here I've just got a landscape image that I took and edited, and I just thought it could be enhanced slightly with um, adding something to it. So I added a hot air balloon, really simple to do. So let me use another example of adding something that's maybe a little bit extreme. So first and foremost, let me go to my layers, Go to my hot air balloon, press and hold, and click hide. So my hot air balloon is gone. So I tap the screen, and then go back, and then I simply click this text to image AI button. In here, I'm gonna type in flying dragon, and then click generate. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use this one because it's got a solid background and I want to remove that background. Click continue. So with this continued, I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit because now what I want to do, I want to um, select the cutout tool and the cutout tool, I'm just gonna select the object and now it's removed, it's done a great job of removing all of the background for me. I'm gonna click the little tick button and then scale it down a little bit and put this dinosaur in this area here, but to make it match the background a little bit, I wanna harmonize it with the background. So deselect, go to my background, press and hold and drag the background onto the dinosaur, and I'll get the harmonize option, click harmonize, and then the colors will be um, will match the background. Go to my dinosaur, because I notice the tail's off, so I want to make him like this. So now in my very average landscape image, I've now got a flying dinosaur going through it. Another way in which you can use the AI tools is just using the AI tools on their own. Let me give you a demonstration. On the home button, I select um, the AI generation tools, and I'm just gonna type in here, Warface, why not? Click done, generate. I'm just going to use the first image that well, let's comes say, up. for instance, I wanted to use this on an Insta story. The first thing I want to do is change the canvas size. The way I do that is click the little back button, go to canvas, sizes, select story, click the tick button, and then I want to drag this image in a little bit, anchor pointer on the corner, perfect. And then I want to add text to this just to um, make it a little bit more striking. Good thing with text is, I don't know whether you know this, is another top tip for you, but with anything that's pointed, if you add a stroke color to the background and go to width, and then drag that width up, it'll give you this awesome, um, let me make that bigger, it'll give you this awesome sort of paint spike coming off the background of the image, and it just fits really nicely with that image, I suppose. Click export. It's going to export it as a JPEG. Now I've got this awesome story size, full screen, war face image that's been automatically AI generated with just some text thrown over the top. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. If you have any questions um, or any suggestions for tutorials, give me a shout and I'll, um, I'll do the best I can. Take care. Catch you all soon. Bye.